hey my friends welcome back to my channel so today I'm coming to you with my third and final uh, panda hole selective uh, project share video and so in this video um, I'm gonna show you what I did with these um, really pretty pendants um, here so so pretty there's quite a few to choose from, different designs. So there's one, two, three, four, um, five, five designs. Very pretty, right here. And so I did say that I was gonna try to play with resin. Um, I'm not, 100% familiar with resin, but I get the idea of it. So I did do some playing around and I'm going to show you what I created. Okay, so what I created is some keychains. So here are four. And so I must be honest, I had a little bit of trouble with the resin. Um, you know, sometimes you, I, I try putting in like color and stuff like that. And so you have to really manipulate it. And you know, once you put the color in the resin, it's like it bleeds into the resin and you can't really control it where it goes and you can't stop it from going into certain areas. So that's something that I have to like get familiar with. and. But I did what I could. Um, so I thought these came out pretty good despite. And so this is the first one here. I'm going to bring it up close so you can see it. Let's see if it... Okay, there you go. Focused. So I added some glitter. Chunky glitter here. And then I added some glitter in the inside. Um, I don't know if you can see that seahorse right there. And I added that seahorse with um, like a rub on that I had. And so it blended in nicely with the glitter and everything else there. And then these are some chains that I already had. Um, they, these, um, these, um, what do they call them? I forget what they call them, but they already came with the chain. And so I just added the um, jump rings to it, and I added a charm there, and I added some beads. And so this is the first one. This I think that's really cute. I feel like the seahorse gets a little lost in there, but you can see him. Focus, focus. Okay, there you go. So that's that one. Then I decided that I didn't want them all to look like this one, so I decided that I would just print out some um, pictures and just try to um, see how it comes out. So this is what I was able to get. So I kind of went online. I got these little picture right here. I got a few of them. And I printed it out on my computer, on my printer. And then I was able to cut it out and paste it in the back. Um, and then pour the resin and I think it came out pretty cool focus focus come on focus not focusing let's see okay there you go so you can see the chunky glitter in there and the little fishy I think it came out pretty neat for it being my first time, so. And then, of course, I added a little fish there and some beads. So that's my second one. Then my third one, I kind of did like the same thing. I, I printed out a few pictures, like a few images. And this is what I was able to create with this one. I think this is this one's my favorite. So this one had the spacing for the stones or the beads, not the beads, the flat back beads here. So I put them there to match the inside. And I think that little seahorse is so cute. 
can see the glitter in there. And so for this one, I added two little turtles. So this is kind of like a bead turtle right there. I added that, the little bead on the top, and then this charm. This is the third one. And then the fourth one, I added this one here. And this one is the dolphin one here at the bottom. And then I added the beads and another little fishy there. So I do have to play around with the resin a little bit more to get more familiar with it, but I guess practice makes perfect. But I think they came out okay. They came out pretty good despite. So yeah, that's my third and final project share for Panda Hall. Let me know what you think, which one is your favorite, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.